Kevin Lizarellano Abela, graded Mahogany of Ramon National High School, Ramon District. Thanks be to God for giving me the opportunity to listen to the different episodes of Radio Escuela. I find it hard to answer and understand my lesson, but with the help of Radio Escuela Sa Isabela, I was able to finish my learning modules and other activities. I'm so thankful because I was able to make use my lessons through SDO Isabela's Radio-Based Instruction. At sa Radio Escuela Sa Isabela, patuloy ang eduaksyon! Or Communication Hub and Literary Arts Center of SDO Isabella SDO SDO English Academy Analogy describes the relationship between words Sub subject verb or teacher one a one a English English Academy Grade 8 learners, how are you doing today? Is the weather in your area favorable this time? I hope everyone is perfectly fine. Welcome to English Academy, and we're back for another school on air episode for affirmation literature. I am Miss Camille Kane Villamera, your Good Vibes Army, and your English teacher for today. Today is indeed another fruitful day to learn new things. In this episode, we shall be dealing with organizing and linking our thoughts in writing a speech. Are the types of a speech familiar to you? Wonderful! I know that your previous lesson about various types of speech will help you a lot today. Let's have a brief recall. Informative speech Persuasive speech argumentative speech, and entertainment speech. I can now feel that you are already prepared for today's exploration. Are you excited? Fantastic! Just imagine that you're about to have a long travel today. When preparing yourself, you need to think of the possibilities of putting all your ideas into one place. At this point, let's try to connect our previous lessons with our journey today. When you were in lower grade levels, you already learned about various types of speech. Each type depends on the contents and purpose of the speaker or writer. Now, I want you to recall at least one of the most difficult things that you need to observe when writing or speaking. Can you recall? I knew you could do it. Connecting and organizing your thoughts are really hard sometimes. Even the experts experience the challenge of such. What will help you connect or link your ideas? And that's it! You're right! Connectors will help you a lot. Are you familiar with cohesive devices? Wow! It will help us a lot when you are familiar with cohesive devices. What are cohesive devices? You got it right! Cohesive devices are words or phrases that connect the ideas in your sentences or paragraphs. It also helps to show relationship between paragraphs or section of a text or a speech. I think we need examples. Words like, for example, in addition, However, and moreover, are cohesive devices. Let us study this sentence. Number 1. Netflix has many movies and shows, and it only costs 130 pesos to subscribe for 3 months. What is the connector used in this sentence? You are learning a lot. In this sentence, and is used to add something to the previous statement. Now, let's have the second sentence. 
coronavirus pandemic frightens a lot of people. But our frontliners are doing their best to bring everything back to normal. What is the connector used in the second sentence? You are really learning a lot. It is but. In the second sentence, we can see how negative and positive ideas are connected by the word but. We can conclude now that the word but is used to contrast ideas. Do you want more? You get your brain in gear today. I want that attitude, learners. Cohesive devices are actually grouped by category. What are these categories? Nice one! If you want to show similarity, you can use cohesive devices such as and also to similarly equally and identically. If you want to introduce an item in a series, you can use first in the first place then in addition and finally if you need to compare you can use cohesive devices such as but nevertheless however meanwhile and in contrast for emphasizing you can use cohesive devices like in fact Absolutely, without any doubt, certainly, obviously, and definitely. Now, I know that you have more than enough. Do you know any word used in lieu of cohesive devices? Exactly! Cohesive devices are sometimes called linking words, connectors, Discourse markers or transition words. This time, we are going to move on to the next level of using cohesive devices. Before, you are using these simple words in sentences of your own. Now, let's try to study the transcript of an informative speech by Guy Ryder, Director General, International Labor Organization. Are you ready to listen? Alright, let's study this excerpt from the sad speech. The coronavirus pandemic is not just a medical crisis, but a social and economic one too. International Labor Organization estimates that as many as 25 million people could become unemployed, with the loss of workers' income of as much as 3.4 trillion US dollars. However, it is already becoming clear that these numbers may underestimate the magnitude of the impact. This pandemic has mercilessly exposed the deep fault lines in the labor markets. Enterprises of all sizes have already stopped operations, cut working hours, and laid off staff. Many are gathering on the brink of collapse as shops and restaurants close, flights and hotel bookings are cancelled, and business shifts to remote working. I will repeat. The coronavirus pandemic is not just a medical crisis, but a social and economic one too. International Labor Organization estimates that as many as 25 million people could become unemployed with the loss of workers' income of as much as 3.4 trillion US dollars. However, it is already becoming clear that these numbers may underestimate the magnitude of the impact. This pandemic has mercilessly exposed the deep fault lines in the labor markets. Enterprises of all sizes have already stopped operations, cut working hours, and laid off staff. Many are gathering on the brink of collapse 
as shops and restaurants close, flights and hotel bookings are cancelled, and business shifts to remote working. Can you identify the cohesive devices used in the transcript? Wow, you got it again! The words but, however, to, and and are used as cohesive devices. What is the function of those words in the informative speech? Good idea! Those words function as connectors to link ideas in the speech. To sum up our discussion, let us all recall some important points to remember in our lesson today. What do you call those words that are used to link and connect ideas in sentences? That's great! We call those words cohesive devices. Sometimes, cohesive devices are called linking words, transition words, and discourse markers. Can you provide examples of cohesive devices? You've just mastered it! However, moreover, nevertheless, but, and and are examples of cohesive devices. Kaya ka Hindi ka artista para magdrama-drama ng ganyan. O ano naman ngayon kung binubuli ka sa school? Mahina ka kasi kaya ganyan. Yung mga pinsan mo ang tataas ng marka, tapos ikaw ano? Pumasak ka na doon at mag-aral ka na. Ang napabayaan at napahabang bullying ay maaaring maging sanhi ng depresyon. Ang mga usaping ito ay hindi biro at hindi pawang kaartehan lamang. Isang paalala mula sa kagawaran ng edukasyon at ng himpilang ito. Take a deep breath because I know that you are all ready for the brief checkup of what we have learned today. I am going to read each of them twice and your task is to choose the best transition word or phrase from the provided options. Just write the letter of your choice. You have three seconds to write your answers in your notebook. Ready? Let's begin! Number 1. I dropped my reading glasses and it broke. Blank. I need to either buy a new one or have the lenses replaced. Letter A. In spite of. B. Furthermore. C. Otherwise. And letter D. Therefore. Number 1. I dropped my reading glasses and it broke. Blank. I need to either buy a new one or have the lenses replaced. Letter A, in spite of. B, furthermore. C, otherwise. And letter D, therefore. Number 2. I can't help you with your homework since I am not really good at statistics. Blank. I know someone who can. Letter A. However. B. In addition. C. In the same way. And D. Subsequently. Number 2. I can't help you with your homework since I am not really good at statistics. Blank. I know someone who can. Letter A. However. B. In addition. C. In the same way and B, subsequently. Number 3. Mike is very active and enjoys working out. Blank, Marvin plays video game all day. Letter A. On the other hand, B, in addition, C, as a result, and letter D, for example. Number 3. Mike is very active and enjoys working out. Blank. Marvin plays video game all day. Letter A. On the other hand. B. 
in addition, C, as a result, and letter D, for example. Number 4. Blank, it was terribly hot. I still walk to school. Letter A, consequently. B, accordingly. C, although. And letter D, furthermore. Number 4. Blank, it was terribly hot. I still walk to school. Letter A, consequently. B, accordingly. C, although. And letter D, furthermore. And number 5, Mika is sick. Blank, she came to school today. A, nevertheless. B, as a result. C, despite that. And B, still. And number 5, Mika is sick. Blank, she came to school today. A, nevertheless. B, as a result. C, despite that. And B, still. Now, let us check your answers. Please be honest in checking your own notes. Are you ready? These are the answers. 1. Letter D. Therefore. 2. Letter A. However. 3. Letter A. On the other hand. 4. Letter C, although. And 5, letter C, despite that. We are done with the first part of our activity. I hope your scores are good enough. The second part will be given as your assignment. You need to write an informative speech about the situation of our community in the midst of COVID-19 pandemic. Do not forget to use cohesive devices properly. Observe the important reminders in writing an informative speech. Write your speech on a sheet of paper and submit it to your teacher. At this point, I would like to congratulate you because you certainly did well today. We know that the situation this time requires extra effort from us. But you're still tuned and still listening up to this moment. I am so happy that you value your parents' effort of giving you quality education even during this difficult time. This topic will be the last one for this grading period. I know that you enjoyed our previous explorations, but finally, making at this point is the best part. Congratulations for staying with us in this journey. It will be of your advantage if you will continue reading at home and be prepared for our future lessons. And we are concluding this episode with an optimistic mood. Looking forward to be with you again on air. And this has been your English Academy teacher for today, Ms. Camille K. and William Mera. Saying thank you and God bless everyone. Patuloy, patuloy ang edukasyon para sa ating generasyon. Sa gaan ng pagkatuto ay walang may iwan. Kaya halina sa Radyo. Radyo, Radyo Eskwela.